Hello, LinkedIn community. My name is Sophia Marine. I'm a cybersecurity enthusiast and an incident responder. Today's video, we're going to be talking with the chapter number three of our incident response series. Uh, so welcome. Just before we start, I wanted to recap. So the first episode is about how you can get the session token stolen to an adversary in the middle attack technique, in which we know that the malicious adversary got a hold of access of a user, which was Kimura. Once this adversary had Kimura access, we went to the second part module. The second module explains basically the forensic evidence, right? Looking at the signing logs, the audit logs, and also using technologies like MCAS, uh, Cloud App Security, to determine what's going on. So when we left episode two, we noticed that now the adversary had used Kimura access to add classic administrators into a subscription. In today's episode, we're going to walk on the determine the impact, right? So determining the impact is crucial in your incident response process. It's not the same if we have a global admin compromise as whether we only have a user member compromise. We're going to be doing this demo through both the mind of an intruder, right, from the actor and the mind of the responder. So far, unfortunately, we think that in the responder side, um, we were not able to cut in time that access and therefore the adversary got to have a certain level of persistence that we're going to check and we're going to sign in with that account. So over here, you look at my screen, we are using Cloud App Security and we're able to see the fact of the classic administrators. So classic administrator, um, it's a permission, very underestimated. I like to call it the show me the money attack technique in which what it does is that it allows access to the Azure subscription, right? We often talk about Azure Active Directory, but Azure subscription is where you are deploying resources is when there is any sort of crypto mining activity botnet or exfiltration we need to have a possession of the azure subscription in order to deploy and use subscriptions so right here i'm gonna actually move from my screen and i'm gonna present um the subscriptions so right here we have in my company, which is called the Choker, I have a couple of subscriptions and I am going to show you part of them. So as I am the owner in this demo subscription, when I go to EM and we go into classic administrators, this is where I find guest accounts, right? These guest accounts that we saw last chapter in the audit logs were added by the compromised user Kimura. Now, right here, what happens is that if we have the adversary log in, right? He logs in and he does switch directories. He's able to see my company, Choker. He's going to switch the directory and in the landing page, right? Uh, just need to get that approved. So ready to approve. Okay. Right. When we're adding as a guest who is managing even those your tenant, the adversary can go ahead, register in the FA. Like there is nothing wrong. As long as you're not not in it, he's another user, right? So that's why it's very important to go back to that uh the three security pillars, right? Again, the assume always compromise, be explicit and just have enough administration access. So let's wait a moment that it signs. So as I was mentioning, now the adversary is able to see us, right? He has gained not only a guest account, but also a level of permission that will allow to see the subscription. So if you see, we have the adversary that was added by Kimura and he's in the directory of my company, Choker. 
Well, in the London page, we're seeing virtual machines, app services, and order. So one of the first things, because that is uh, the technique he was using, he could go into subscriptions, and he's going to see the subscription. Now, one of the things that we want to mention right here is that he has now control to whatever resource is this subscription. And now ultimately, and this is part of now the Azure Thread Matrix, I actually added, it's about an exfiltration technique. So imagine right now I have here a um, couple of server farms and storage accounts, right? And what I want to be doing is that the adversary wants to take control. And if I come over here, and the adversary is going to make sure, and uh, we could see all the classic administrators, he could even add any more. And now we go back to overview and we're going to say uh, change the directory. So this is very much the why I call it show me the money um, is the fact that once I move this to another directory, all the things are going to still be keep building to the choke, right? So as it says here, that if we move from the directory ownership, right? Um, the original directory billing ownership will be transferred to someone else. So over here, we're going to say that we're going to move it. And I understand everything. And we change it. This will take uh, about some minutes. So once that is being transferred, right? What happens is if I had any virtual machines, any app services, if I go back as the choker at me, so we're going to actually switch directories and I'm going to go back to control. So over here, I am logging to the choker. I go back to subscriptions. It's going to take a few moments to replicate. I'm going to see demo and now I'm not authorized. I've lost complete access to my resources and my subscription. Now the issue is that now from the controls of view, if I go into subscriptions, And it should take a little bit to replicate. So here we are, we're in Contoso. We have the subscription, as you can see in the right hand, it's Contoso. We have only the subscription demo. Now, if the adversary wants to, he could, uh, the only thing the adversary doesn't have control is about the billing. So you will be billed by the things the adversary is going to do, and he's not going to be charged for it. And now you don't have control either. So if we go into resources and let's say the adversary wants to go ahead and delete, we say, yes, we delete them. He has delete your own um, information right now. Uh, once that's done, if he wants to go ahead and create, let's say we create a VM, um, we're going to say, I am the hacker. Completely data, and this is just going to be a demo. Oh, what did we miss? Okay, all that expense for this machine. Uh, will go ahead and be expensed to the choker, not to control. So um, that's why we I call it a show me the money. Besides the fact that you lose control, you're going to be built by a different resources you're not being charged for. So we create it and you're going to see there will be a spike, right? Once the machine goes, we're going to say that we don't load the private key and that will happen. 
Uh, we're gonna let this see them run. Uh, one of the things that you're gonna notice here is that in the case uh, analysis, it's gonna take a time, but you will start seeing that it will not load, right? So this is very like this is very worrying. And there is a couple of articles by Microsoft, and this is a new technique that has been given because this not only allows certain sort of persistency, but also exfiltration of your data. Besides a financial driven mechanism that the adversary can go ahead and use your own billing information to create resources that you have not done. In order to regain access uh, with the level of impact, you have to create a support case with Microsoft and there is a process is done for. Um, so what will be the impact? If we had an account that has been a classic administrator from what we see in the activity log, right? Um, if we go ahead and So from MCAS, you will only be seeing the classic admin and the logon. Now, because the tenant in the choker, you don't own that subscription anymore, you will not be able to see anything at it, right? Unless you were exporting the Azure activity uh, to a Sentinel container, there will be no data. Whether it's all the actual data of who move it is going to be now at control, so right? Over here, you see the update of the tenant. So um, as far as what happens in this case, in the impact is an exfiltration impact of the subscription, plus a possible financial impact if the malicious actor has done any sort of resources or delete any sort of resources as well. Main things here, you have to back up your logs. You have to send them somewhere else. Because if you stop having them, there's no way to go back, right? Right here, you could see, I go back to the demo, to the activity log, and it's gone. Whether the actor has all the logs. So this is the main caveat. In the next episode, is going to be actually putting up the playbooks for this incident response. So hope you stay tuned and hope you're learning a lot. And see you in the chapter number four. Have a good day. Bye-bye.